20,000 Martyrs of Nicomedia. Commemorated on December 28, the Holy 20,000 Martyrs of Nicomedia. At the beginning of the 4th century the Emperor Maximian, 284-305, gave orders to destroy Christian churches, to burn service books, and to deprive all Christians of rights and privileges of citizenship. At this time the bishop of the city of Nicomedia was St. Cyril, who by his preaching and life contributed to the spread of Christianity, so that many members of the emperor's court were also secret Christians. The pagan priestess Domna was living in the palace at that time. Providentially, she obtained a copy of the Acts of the Apostles and the Epistles of St. Paul. Her heart burned with the desire to learn more about the Christian teaching. With the help of a young Christian girl, Domna went secretly to Bishop Anthemus, Cyril's successor, with her faithful servant, the eunuch Indies. Saint Anthemus catechized them, and both received holy baptism. Domna began to help the poor. She gave away her valuables with the assistance of Indies, and she also distributed food from the imperial kitchen. The chief eunuch, who was in charge of provisions for the imperial household, found out that Domna and Indies were not eating the food sent them from the emperor's table. He had them beaten in order to find out why they did not partake of the food, but they remained silent. Another eunuch informed him that the saints were distributing all the emperor's gifts to the poor. He locked them up in prison to exhaust them with hunger. But they received support from an angel and did not suffer. Saint Domna feigned insanity so she wouldn't have to live among the pagans. Then she and Indies managed to leave the court and she went to a women's monastery. Abbas Agatha quickly dressed her in men's clothing, cut her hair and sent her off from the monastery. During this time the emperor returned from battle and ordered that a search be made for the former pagan priestess Domna. The soldiers sent for this purpose found the monastery and destroyed it. The sisters were thrown into prison, subjected to torture and abuse, but not one of them suffered defilement. Sent to a house of iniquity, Saint Theophila was able to preserve her virginity with the help of an angel of the Lord. The angel led her from the brothel and brought her to the cathedral. At this time the emperor cleared the city square to offer sacrifice to the pagan gods. When they began sprinkling the crowd with the blood of the sacrificial animals, Christians started to leave the square. Seeing this, the emperor became enraged, but in the middle of his rantings a great thunderstorm sprang up. People fled in panic, and the emperor had to retreat to the palace for his own safety. Later Maximian went to the church with soldiers and told them they could escape punishment if they renounced Christ. Otherwise, he promised to burn the church and those in it. The Christian presbyter Glycerus told him that Christians would never renounce their faith, even under the threat of torture. Hiding his anger, the emperor exited the church and a short time later commanded the presbyter Glycerus be arrested for trial. The executioners tortured the martyr, who did not cease to pray and to call on the name of the Lord. Unable to force St. Glycerus stop confessing Christ, Maximian ordered him to be burned to death. On the feast of the Nativity of Christ in the year 302, when about 20,000 Christians had assembled at the cathedral in Nicomedia, the emperor sent a herald into the church. He told the Christians that soldiers were surrounding the building, and that anyone who wished to leave had to offer sacrifice to the pagan gods. Anyone who defied the emperor would perish when the soldiers set fire to the church. All those present refused to worship the idols. As the pagans prepared to set fire to the church, Bishop Anthemus baptized all the catechumens and communed everyone with the holy mysteries. All 20,000 of those praying died in the fire. Among them were the abbess Agatha and Saint Theophila who had been saved from the den of iniquity by a miracle. Bishop Anthemus, however, managed to escape the fire. Maximian thought that he had exterminated all the Christians of Nicomedia. 
He soon learned that there were many more, and that they would confess their faith and were prepared to die for Christ. The emperor wondered how to deal with them. At his command they arrested the regimental commander Zeno, who was openly criticizing the emperor for his impiety and cruelty. Zeno was fiercely beaten and finally beheaded. They jailed the eunuch Indies, formerly a priest of the idols, for refusing to participate in a pagan festival. The persecution against Christians continued. Dorotheus, Mardonius, Migdanus the deacon and others were thrown into prison. Bishop Anthemus encouraged them by sending letters to them. One of the messengers, the deacon Theophilus, was captured. They subjected him to torture, trying to learn where the bishop was hiding. The holy martyr endured everything, while revealing nothing. Then they executed him and also those whom the bishop had addressed in his letter. Though they were executed in different ways, they all showed the same courage and received their crowns from God. For weeks, Saint Domna concealed herself within a cave and sustained herself by eating plants. When she returned to the city, she wept for a long time at the ruins of the church, regretting that she was not found worthy to die with the others. That night she went to the seashore. At that moment fishermen pulled the bodies of the martyrs Indies. Gorgonius and Peter from the water in their nets. Saint Domna was still dressed in men's clothing, and she helped the fishermen to draw in their nets. They left her the bodies of the martyrs. With reverence she looked after the holy relics and wept over them, especially over the body of her spiritual friend, the martyr Indies. After giving them an honorable burial, she did not depart from these graves so dear to her heart. Each day she burned incense before them, sprinkling them with fragrant oils. When the emperor was told of an unknown youth who offered incense at the graves of executed Christians, he gave orders to behead the youth. The martyr Euthymius was also executed along with Domna.